Hi, I'm Anthony with Baldwin Heating and Air Conditioning and today we're going to go over some basic operations of your household standby generator. A couple things we want to go over today as the, for you as the homeowner is the basic uh, setup of your generator controller here. As you'll notice, there's three modes your generator can be in, auto, manual, and off. It's pretty self-explanatory, but automatic mode is where your generator is going to stay pretty much 99% of the time. That is going to activate automatic operation when you lose utility power. Once you lose utility, generator will start, run, and transfer over to the home uh, seamlessly without you having to do one step. Uh, anytime you want to turn your generator off, and this does not harm the system at all, you will just t press your red button right here and that will keep your generator off or turn it off if it's ever running when you don't think it should be. Second option here is going to be your manual position which will start and run the generator, unload it, and allow you to know your generator is working or if you just want to make sure it's, it's starting and running properly here. Another thing that I want to go over with in the event that you are in a power outage and for some reason your generator did not come on, which I hope is not the case, uh, there's one simple step you can do to try to get your generator back online. Uh, first, you're going to come out and look at your panel. It may have an error code. It'll, this unit has history, so us as the technician will be able to see that with you clearing it. Uh, one first step is going to be to turn the generator to the off position. Press enter. This will clear the alert code that is present on here. And like I said, you don't even have to write it down. It'll be in the database for us to see what happened once we come out to service it. By doing this, we are resetting the we are resetting the controller to, and we're allowing it we're going to allow this to try to recycle on and get you back online for standby power. So, once you have pressed it off, entered and cleared the alert code, you're going to want to go back to the auto position and this will restart the cycle once again. We would also like to go over, uh, for you as the homeowner, something that you'll want to periodically check and make sure is that your gas regulator that is going to your generator is free of all debris around it. Every regulator is going to have a vent here that needs to be open. A lot of times these can be closer to the ground to where things can start to pile up around it. Without this being free and open, this can cause fuel issues going to your generator. In the event your generator is overloaded, this breaker right here is going to be what trips. And it's like any breaker in a home. It will go to the middle position and you will come out here, turn it completely off, and then go back into the on position while the generator is running. If you have any questions about your household standby generator, please call Baldwin Heating and Air Conditioning and we can help you with any of your needs.